another video on trigonometry. In this video, we will discuss about maximum and minimum values of some important trigonometric expressions. The first function which we will take is a sine theta plus b cos theta. Let's see what can be the maximum value and the minimum value for this function. So max value for this function that means a sine theta plus b cos theta can be square root of a square plus b square where we can see that a is the coefficient of sine theta and b is the coefficient of cos theta. So this can be the maximum value and the minimum value can be now let's turn our attention to the minimum value. So the minimum value here can be negative of a square plus b square. So this is the positive value and its negative is the minimum value which the function of a sine theta plus b cos theta can attain. Moving over to our next expression. Next expression which we're going to take here is a sine square theta plus b cos square theta. So this time we are having squares of trigonometric functions and the max value for this function can be. So in this case there is a twist in the tail. So here we have a precondition that if a is greater than b then the max value is a and the min value that means the minimum value here is b and if a is less than b then the max value here is b and the min value that means the minimum value here is a. Let's move to the third function. Third function or expression which we'll take here is a tan square theta plus b cot square theta. Let's see what can be the maximum value for this function or expression the max value can be so this function does not have any particular maximum value the maximum value here can be infinity but we do have a certain value of the minimum value and that is twice under root AB. Let's move over to the fourth expression. The fourth expression which we will take here is A sine square theta plus B cos x square theta. And once again here the maximum value for this function is infinity but we do have a minimum value for this function and the minimum value for this function is twice root ab so students having learnt about maximum and minimum values of some of the trigonometric expressions here let's take some questions based on these The first question which we are taking here is find the maximum value of 5 sine square theta plus 2 cos square theta and here we can take this 5 as A and this 2 as B and we have learned that for A sine square theta plus B cos square theta if A is greater than B, 
and as is the case here we can see that 5 is definitely greater than 2 then maximum value of the expression is equal to a and a here is 5 so maximum value here will be 5 so 5 is the answer for this question let's take question number 2 so here we have a slightly different type of a question here we have to find the maximum value of 24 sine theta plus 7 cos theta so in the earlier question we had squares on sine and cos theta but here we do not have squares on sine theta and cos theta here we can take this 24 as a and this 7 as b so we've learned that maximum value of a sine theta plus b cos theta this we have learned is square root of a square plus b square so a here is 24 and b is equal to 7 so for this expression the max value will be square root of 24 square plus 7 square that will be equal to we know that square of 24 is 576 plus square of 7 is 49 and this will come as square root of 625 which is equal to 25 so the max value for 24 sine theta plus 7 cos theta will be 25. Let's take question number 3. Question number 3 to begin with appears to be slightly complicated. But as we will proceed you will find that this is an extremely easy question to answer. So question number 3 says find the minimum value of sine square theta plus cos square theta plus sec square theta plus cos square theta plus tan square theta plus cot square theta. Let's try and solve this question. If we can combine this sine square theta along with cos square theta, we know that it's 1 plus for sec square theta we can write 1 plus tan square theta plus and for cos square theta we can write this as 1 plus cot square theta plus tan square theta plus cot square theta as it is so this becomes equal to 1 plus 1 is 2 and here we have 2 tan square theta so we can combine the two so this becomes twice tan square theta plus and we have 2 cot square theta here so this becomes twice of cot square theta so this is equal to 2 plus from these two we can take 2 common so inside the bracket we will have tan square theta plus cot square theta also we know that minimum value for a tan square theta plus b cot square theta is equal to twice of square root ab and here we can see that a will be 1 that will be the coefficient of tan square theta and b will be also 1 the coefficient of cot square theta so minimum value for this expression will be 2 remains as 2 plus 2 outside the bracket also remains as 2 and inside we will have twice root of AB so that means twice root of 1 multiplied by 1 so this becomes 2 plus 4 is equal to 6